Hello everyone, welcome back. It's Marilyn here with this layout uh, as tutorial for today. Look this beautiful photo. And I select this paper, uh, the neutral side. Let me show you uh, the other side. It is from the watercolor collection by Prima Marketing that is featuring this month in the April limited edition kit. Now I am going to apply clear gesso. I'm using this tool by uh, scrapbook.com. It's super nice to apply mediums and I'm going to let it dry the paper and I'm taking now a white cardstock. It is eight and a half by 11 and I am cutting two inches for the long side to make this six and a half by 11. Now I'm using this punch by Martha Stewart and I am punching around uh, this uh, paper in a U form. Let me, as you see here, now uh, I take another white cardstock and I am making a mat for my photo. And with my trimmer, I have this ready. Now, let me show you what I did. I cut a bunch of these leaves from one of the pattern paper from the same collection from the kit. And you can see here, I already have the all these. And I use, I also uh, uh, inking all the border with the Freight Burlap Distress Oxide ink. Okay, let me, s now I'm going to start to build this and I'm putting in this angle, the paper, the punch paper that I did. And now with a pencil, I'm going to make marks around the piece to know where, where exactly I'm going to uh, put it later. And because I'm going to make this mark here, so you can see, because I want to use the stamp from the kit. Look, this beautiful stamp that comes in the April kit. And I want to use the Hello Beauty words and one of the small flowers because I'm going to create, I'm going to uh, make this technique with embossing powder. I'm going to stamp uh, on the background. Uh, I'm going to start with the Hello Beauty words and I'm going to do first the right sides and then the, the rest of the background. You can see here, I am stamping Hello Beauty in three different sides here. I am adding now the pearl embossing powder by Blue Fern Studio. I move it to the left side embossing powder. And now I am stamping the small flowers between all the words. Then I re I am adding uh, more embossing powder. I know that he is hard for you to see, but let me, uh, I'm going to put the heat tool. Now I'm using my heat tool and I'm going to melt and you can see here uh, on the background how nice it looks. I know that now you see, <laughs> maybe you are asking why I am using a neutral color similar to the paper. You will see why because I'm going to add color later. And I'm doing now all the steps again, and I am stamping first the Hello Beauty words, and then I am uh, taking here and stamping the small flowers, and I add a few of them in the top of border, right top border, and now I'm going to melt all these embossing powder. And you can see how lovely it looks on the background. I just love about this technique with embossing that it give me it gives this shimmering, this shimmer effect on the background as you see here. Now I'm using the distress ink. This is the bundle sage color with my brush. I am now inking all the background in the area that I made the stamping work. And you can see how you can, I can highlight now all the stamping work with this technique. And one of the reasons that I'm using the Distress Ink is because this Distress Ink is more like a stain. Uh, if I use the Distress Oxide, it's more like an ink. I will, uh, the, uh, the oxide will cover more of the background. And I just love this paper. You can see here how it already looks. It's lovely. And it gives this beautiful effect and technique. And you can, I can uh, continue to see the background. Now I am inking uh, the borders of the 
piece of paper that I punch and here I am adding a piece of chipboard that I'm going to place in this area here because I want that this piece stay with dimension. Okay, now I'm going to adhere the piece. I'm following, uh, following the pencil marks in that way is easier. And with my scissor, I'm going to, uh, I am trimming off the excess of the paper and in the corner here, and you can see how it looks. It is ready. Now I take my photo and I'm going to use this shibor, one of the shibors that comes from the kit. It is from Prima 2. I am a dabbing white heavy gesso and apply like, apply like two coats and I am uh, dry this. And now I am using the same bundle sage that I used for the background and I am inking uh, this. That is easier when you apply the gesso because the gesso uh, helps that the, it, this uh, ink stayed over the shibor. And you can see here how it looks. This piece is so lovely. It is, uh, this shibor is from Finaver, uh, I think from Prima Marketing too. Actually, all, all the kit I think is from Prima except the stamp. So you will get also uh, a stencil. If you want to see how is this kit, I'm going to let you in the top of the here in the top the link to the unboxing video so you can have an idea how it this kit and how are the the limited edition kits from my creative. Here I am. Uh, I'm going to start with. Uh, I am playing with all the flowers. I just select the greens, all the greens that I found on the three packages that comes in the kit and put it here. And now I am going to make a, like arrangement here with all this leaf. I want to create like a waterfall effect, something like in the jungle, all the leaves that are falling down. And I am doing this. As you see, I am adding some of the leaves behind the punch paper and others over and uh, in between the flowers in that way I can create different layers with the lips and it looks more natural and beautiful and I'm going I'm not going to show you now when I am uh, adhering all these lips I'm going to do this off camera but I uh, I'm going to add in some of these lips 3d foam tapes just to give more dimension and in that way they look more natural here I'm adding some small leaves on the top corner here. And I'm just playing with all these. Maybe when I am, you will see that I'm going to change a few things when I am not hidden. I always do, do the same. And here it is. And look, this fox, it is adorable. I just trimmed off the white border. I think it's from the femora. And now I'm going to adhere all these. Okay, my friends, here is everything at here is wet and look the butterfly that I put in the top and this is how it looks. Now I decided to uh, continue with the punch paper. I have this tiny piece and I'm going to punch the other side here and I am thinking to put my title in this piece here. So I am taking the, the same Hello Beauty with Versa Mark and I am stamping this in this side here. But this time I'm going to use uh, uh, this color of embossing powder that is the Ginger Color by Blue Fern Studio. It is, it is it's not gold, it's not brown, it's like in between. And you will see how lovely is the color the color once I melt, melted. You can see here. It looks so lovely. Hello, beauty. Now that I have this piece ready, ready, I am uh, inking all the borders as I did in the top part on my page. And now I'm going to apply the dis the same distress over the word. In that way, I can highlight more the hello beautiful word. And now I'm going to do the same. I will make marks 
with a pencil I am playing here where I, wa I want the piece and once I know I make mark with a pencil and I'm going to repeat the same step I'm going uh, to stand first the hello beauty hello beautiful word here and then the small flowers then I apply the embossing power it is the pearl color and it is by uh, Blue Fern Studio and you can see here how nice is this technique I just love the shiny that has the, the embossing power uh, powder brings on the background now I'm going I'm going to do this fast I just uh, I'm going to do the same step and apply the uh, bundle sage distress ink once it's inking I'm going to adhere this I'm going to add a piece of the cardboard and attach this on the back on on the bottom and look how lovely I am trimming off the excess and it is ready I'm going to add a few flowers and butterfly I did it off of camera once I have this I cover my photo and I'm giving white paint splatters uh, that is how it looks and I give I add also vintage photo distress fo uh, photo uh, vintage photo distress oxide in the border I should say here is the Mika flakes this is the snow flakes it is by Fina Vera from Prima and I'm using also the 3d gloss gel by Fina Vera from Prima marketing to adhere the Mika flakes on the background I just love that this particular uh, Mika flake the, sn the snowflakes is the correct name from this one are uh, translucent and it gives this uh, shimmer, this beautiful effect on the background. You will see once I adhere all these Mika flakes on the background. And <laughs> I'm going to ask you because you will see, I, I'm going to show you two videos. Uh, when I apply the Mika flakes, I think that it is the last step and that my page is finished. I was happy how it looks now. But and you can see here, check uh, the beautiful effect that it brings on the background, and it is ready, it is perfect. You can let it as it is right now. But I don't know why I decided to add more textures uh, on the background. Then uh, I take my sponge, I am dabbing white gesso uh, over the flowers just to give a more chavish chic effect on this uh, also over the shipboard then here's when everything I, I decided that I don't know why I decided that here is, is let me show you once again you can see here it is perfect you can let it as it is but I decided to add more texture <laughs> and I take my matte medium gel this one multi medium gel uh, this is from Ranger and I decided to add some sequence I'm using the transparent sequence the this one that is like a tornasol uh, I, I love it because it brings this lovely I'm using the quick steps just to pick the uh, the sequence in that way it's easier to work with tiny things and I adhere a few of these uh, sequence in bo uh, around all the stamp area and I think that I love it in the final result because it stand out all these uh, textures on the background and all the stamp you can see here let me know what you prefer if with sequence or without sequence in a comments down below and here it is you can see how it looks i just love it with sequence but you know just want to know what is your opinion okay my friends i hope that you enjoy the tutorial here are my photos check the description down below to the link to the kit to my social media and i'm going uh, to show you here the final result the last photo and here are two more videos that maybe you are interested and i think you soon with a new video tutorial nos vemos bye bye